Hi everybody to my Linux basics tutorial regarding um, the Linux command line. Um, in the last uh, video we, we've seen how to create files, remove files and um, create directories and such. Um, before I now go into into combining um, commands I'd like to show you some really helpful commands uh, that are really important because they help you find out things yourself so um, it's not maybe knowing them helps you and help and avoids that you're feeling like uh, lost um, so it's more or less about getting documentation or finding commands that maybe are useful um, okay at first there is the man command which basically means manual. So, um, for most commands, there is a manual page there which you can just look at by using this man command. And we can try this, for example, for for our ls command. And okay, so now we see we are in some kind of documentation mode here. Um, man page always has a few sections first of all telling the command name and what it does um, telling us which syntax it, e it expects and a description is given as well together with with all the available command line options this command knows and this can be really many options most of which you will probably not need very often or if at all as you can see lots and lots and lots of options like for example you can tell the ls command to to sort your files um, after last access time or to list recursively meaning to go into folders and and list uh, their contents as well not not only the contents of the current folder and we've already uh, seen the commands which is L which means long where is it uh, here long listing format and the A we've seen the A as well which means all do not ignore entries starting with a dot Yeah, and there are many more switches there. And um, okay, so that's what, it, what, a, com what a, a man page looks like. It tells you every little bit about the command you're you're asking uh, for. Just like to see one more. Let's see the cut concatenate. Doesn't even catalog. Doesn't mean catalog, but concatenate. Okay. Um, yeah, the cat command, the syntax of it, you can see there are optionally some options you can specify and one or more files or no, you don't even have to specify a file, but we'll see that later. later. And once again, a few command line options available. Okay, so that's how you find out how to or what options a certain command allow. There's another another um, helpful command which is called apropos and you can ask it for I don't know let's say ls but that's too much <laughs> or also too much list. Basically what it, what it does is you can specify some search term or some some part of of a command name that you're searching for and it will um, scan through all the man pages that there are which contain this word or this term that you specified so i've been searching for grep which is a basic uh, a command in the linux and unix to search uh, through contents of files and as we see there are quite some variations of it 
and it means for example if we pick this ngrep stuff here I can now say man ngrep and see the manual page for that that command. So if you're not sure what, what a command uh, was spelled like or um, just have some part of it in of the name in your mind or I don't know let's say network usually well as you can see it doesn't only print uh, or it doesn't only find the commands that that the search term is uh, part of, of of which the search term is uh, in the name but it also finds commands that have this um, search term in their description here so as you can see when you're searching for network you find whole lots of of manual pages uh, another command that may, may be useful to you is well it's not always it depends on the Linux distribution you're using but it's not always uh, installed by default um, it's a locate command which is basically there for finding a file that you know the name of like let's say I know there's somewhere some uh, file called ifconfig and then it finds every file in my file system um, that contains the phrase ifconfig like this one this one here and there's another a third one so that's for finding files in, uh, in your file system uh, it's quite helpful yeah and I think are there any more well if you just want to f um, search recursively through the directory you're currently in often you're on you have c some directories which are rather growing and growing and have uh, lots of files in them and folders and you know somewhere in there must be a certain file you can use the find command and you can say it f you can tell it for example file 4 and it tells you okay I found it I found it here uh, as we remember one dot means the current directory so within the current directory in folder 1 there's a file called file 4 <coughs> um, yeah well maybe, maybe the, the find command is, is a very complex one there are so many options to it you can search for so many criteria like for example as we've seen the file name or last modification date something like this you can for example tell it to find all files that have been modified within the last 24 hours or even minutes you can search for files that have special or have, have yeah special file permissions and all these things so there's a lot of stuff you can do with with, with this command and as you you can see the man page is rather large um, yeah but that that should be enough for now so in the next part as I've said before already we're going to um, see how you can combine commands and make use of them